cheetahs are highly endangered, surviving in only a few places. They have binocular vision in large frontally placed eyes within a small head and, as the ultimate sprinters, they are highly specialized hunters. A leopard patrolling its territory is likely to detect a cheetah's presence. She will have to look after them on her own for the next 17 months before they will be self-reliant. As the cubs become older, they are more difficult to hide. She, on the other hand, has to hunt more regularly to provide enough milk for the growing cubs. These two adult cheetah are in fact a brother and sister pair. This is quite unusual because usually when cheetahs leave their mother, the male cubs separate from the females and each pursues a separate life. The male begins his run. It all happens so quickly. The male knows that on occasion the wildebeest will retaliate. Then suddenly she's off. The cubs have learned this means they must stay behind while she goes off to hunt. The mother moves on, looking to see if there's any prey nearby. Suddenly, the mother calls to her cubs to follow. As the mother sets out across the short grass plain, it is easy to see how vulnerable cheetah cubs are to predation at this age. The cheetah does not have the power, teeth or claws to take on such a formidable adversary. This is a very close-knit family and this mother remains very tolerant of her cubs' games, up to a point. The wildebeest are surrounding her, cutting her off from her cubs. The cubs are now a little concerned that their mother has disappeared. The instinct of a cheetah to run down prey is there from birth, so this cub was born to be a hunter and to survive, it has to learn how to kill. They will not return to the carcass. Cheetahs never do. It is the cheetah's lot to be a solitary animal. <laughs>